Hi guys, it's David here from One Step at a Time and today I have a really cool video for you. It's how to make your own outro for the end of your videos. Um, a lot of the top YouTubers are making it at the moment. The problem is, is that you need some way of creating layers so that the videos are moving. Um, there are videos out there that you can just pop an image in here and then you can use your annotations. But um, I like the fact that they move in the background and it's shown that they're real videos so there's um, stuff going on on them all the time so if it'll load up I will show you there we go and as you can see there's things happening in the video so they catch people's attention we'll still be using annotations over these um, to make them clickable so people can go and watch the videos um, for individual videos so the first thing we're going to do is I'm I'm going to be using Camtasia now. I know it's you have to pay for it, but there is a 30-day free trial, and with that you can create um, more than enough outros with different videos, um, different images in the background, whichever you want to do. Uh, I probably will end up buying this at the end unless something weird happens with it and it starts getting glitchy or something. But um. If not, it doesn't matter. This way I'm going to show you is completely free. So what I did first was I created this image, 1280 by 720, and I used a program called GIMP. It's an open source software. Um, I'm making a video of this. I'll put a link in the description and I'll show you how to make this. What I'm going to do today is just showing you how to put it all together in Camtasia and put it onto YouTube and then use YouTube then to add it to the back of all of your videos so um, just going to minimize that so like I said download this free trial of Camtasia um, let it add it on to its onto your desktop and then once you launch it you'll get this uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to add my little image, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to need about four or five tracks, so I'm just going to open this. Pressing the plus, so I have four tracks there. I'll add another one. And down in track one, because everything's layered on top of each other, so I want to put my base image in here, which is my outro image, so I'm just going to import media. And we're going to go to... My images folder go down here till I find it there's my outro slate and just click on it to highlight it click open and it'll put it in here this is our image and then I'm just going to left click and hold and I'm going to drag it down into track one now it's kind of small at the moment so as you can see this is 10 seconds this is 20 seconds so I'm going to drag this out until I get to about 20 seconds is good enough there's fine and um, the next thing I need to do is we want to add um, our four videos so that we can put our videos in here so they can be playing in the background so you just import media again and click on your videos and then I'm just going to click that Hold shift so those three and then I'm gonna press control to get this fourth one. And just say okay. Just say open. It should launch them in. As you can see they're in different sections. This is your image and this is your video bin. So now what I want to do is if you want to drag it into whichever videos you want on any track, it doesn't really matter. So just left click and hold and I put it in here left click and push this against the edge just going to drop this down a bit so I can and then just hold the back of it and pull it until it matches in then grab the next video that you want actually what you do is because it might get a little bit confused with all the different videos going uh, you can click in here make this video small enough to put in kind of fiddly so that's why that one's into place and then you just Grab the next one, put that into your timeline, push that against the edge as well. Just drop this down a little bit more. Go to the end. And the same again, just to make this small enough to 
move into place but you're going to have to get rid of the audio so what you do is uh, I'm just going to minimize this a little bit so I can catch them all in one go and if I left click and hold like this I can highlight everything and then if I go to audio and while they're all highlighted you'll see this green this is the sound I want to silence all of those so just click silent as you see um, the sound is gone from all of them so just click outside that's everything done and um, what I was saying a minute ago is this when you press play on it you'll notice that nothing's happening in the videos but you want it moving if you could to try and grab or catch people's attention and normally what happens is most of your videos you're doing an intro at the beginning and unless you're standing uh, in screen yourself uh, moving telling people what's coming up you would want to move to a part of the video where things are happening in it so what I like to do is um, don't keep moving on me I'll just go up a little bit on this what I do is I shift out all of the videos like this you could do this in one go I'm just showing you and this one so we can come out to about there and what I do is I'm going to cut all of the beginning of this I'll grab the little red cursor to the end of the here now I just want to make sure I don't cut my slate so I'm going to hit this little lock icon and that lock that in place so now I can cut it and then this will and that's it and this time then when you play it you should be further in on your videos and as you can see there's um stuff happening in uh, all of the videos so it'll grab people's attention that's it definitely that's it this time uh, you're done your slate is finished the only thing you have to do now is to produce it for your account, for your YouTube account. So You just click on the little downward arrow and you'll get these options, share to screencast and you just say share to YouTube. Now, I have one um, put up there already so once you say share to YouTube I'm just going to show you this. Um, it gives you an option to either make it public, private or unlisted. So I either leave it unlisted or private, whichever. Um, normally it's unlisted. And then I click, uh, I just call it outro um, one, or if you're going to be creating lots of them, you can put a unique name on it so you'd know which one you wanted to add to the videos in future. Um, for the purpose of this video, I just call it outro uh, one. And I click finish, and it'll ask you for um, permission to access your YouTube account. And you just say yes and it'll upload it when it's finished uploading I'm just going to cancel this because I'm not going to do it when it's finished this is your this is going to be your outro uh, once you're done and what you want it to do now is you want to be able to add it to the videos now this is only for future videos that you upload you um, this is not for videos obviously that you have up there already once your outro is finished uploading to YouTube, uh, you're wanting to add this to the back of um, your video. So you can have your outro. Uh, the best way to do this is just come down to the create. Click create. When it opens up, click on video editor. When you get this video editor here, you choose whichever video it is. Um, as I mentioned before, if you're only after uploading a video and you want to add your outro to it, um, it'll be the latest video. So all you have to do then, I'm going to add it to the back of this, how to add a subscribe button. So you just left click and hold on the video you want and you drag it and drop it in here. And you'll see these little blue marks at it for nudging. Just press pause on that. Um, just click outside of that and it'll get rid of them. And then I want to just grab my keep replaying I'm just going to add my outro to the back of this video like that click outside that again to get rid of the blue things and as you can see it 
it's as simple as that the outro is added to the end of your videos if you want to cut a section off the back of your video you can just drag your little cursor to wherever point in the video you want it to and if you want to delete that section and move the outro a little bit further just click the scissors it'll split this and just delete that side of the video and let the outro um, into your cut mark but that's pretty much it um, your outro is finished all you have to do then is click create and uh, put a name on it here uh, once you've clicked the create uh, you probably get this warning on it I'll show you now see if it happens yeah well that's only because my the video is private so I'm just going to press the back up and then I'm going to go back into my video manager so just click on your video manager it should be processing your video when you get back uh, there it is and it's in my edit video um, obviously underneath this would be the video you've just uploaded uh, once this is finished processing and everything's fine you can delete this video because this is your new one um, make sure you go in and edit change the title description put your tags on it all of that kind of stuff so it's ready and listed for the public um, there was one thing I wanted to show you be, um, I'm going to have to show you when it's finished processing anyway how to add your annotations to it you might know but I'm quickly going to go run through it but while it's processing I wanted to show you this um, it's it's called Lightworks um, it's a it's a video editor but um, it's a very powerful one it's slightly different to Camtasia which is like a screen recorder um, this you can use for free for as long as you like um, but you can only upload to YouTube it won't allow you to save in different file formats like uh, mp4s or anything like that or webs and but it does work on Windows Linux and Apple so if you want it you can download you can get the free uh, just download whatever version you want um, it's very good uh, the learning curve is a bit harder than would say the likes of Camtasia is very quick but um, this is a bit more powerful than that uh, and as you can see it's worked on some serious films like Ellie Confidential, Pulp Fiction, Heat, Road to Perdition so um, it is good like I said learning curve is um, a bit tougher but uh, it is an option if you wanted to use it I'll put a link in the description it's lwks.com um, it is a way of using it if you want to just create your videos and put whatever intro you, or outro I mean at the end of it but um, just go back here and this is the it's still processing at the moment so I'm going to pause the video when it's finished processing um, quickly show you the how to do the annotations okay it's finished processing its video so now we want to add the annotations to our um, our outro part of it so what we want to do now is just go into the drop down and click on annotations and as you can see at the top here I've opened up all of my videos that I've added to my slate so I'm just going to pause that I'm going to move to the end hmm. There we go. So this is the start of it here. Uh, you want to be you want to click on add annotation, and I usually use um, Spotlight for this, but uh, whichever one you want to. Like I said, I've opened up all of the videos that I've used in it, and this is our our link that we're going to use. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to click on add annotation I'm going to say spotlight and then I'm going to put this around this one and this is how to cut your sim so I'm just going to come down here and then I'm going to say link and it's a uh, it says to open link in a new window so you can or you can have it you can leave it so that it opens in the same window it's up to yourself so you can 
open a new window or not and you want to link it to a video and then it wants you to paste the so I think the first one here is the sim so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that in there now you can if you like the preview link you can preview and uh, it'll preview this I'm just going to leave it um, just want to make sure that this goes to the end so when you come down here catch this move it to the very end of the video so that the annotation is from when your slate comes up to the very end of the video and um, I want to click and add another one and same again and the same again they'll stack on top of each other just move that out to the end and uh, there's no point in me going through them all you've uh, you get the idea that's it once you're happy and you everything's the way you want it just click apply changes uh, i just want to thank you guys so much for watching my video uh, if you liked it hit the like button and um, subscribe if you want you can check out my channel uh, there's a few more videos in there might be of interest to you and i will see you in the next one cheers good luck